Hey guys, this crypto she does it a little bit of everything. I am going to read a few statements from USA Today about uh, Tyree Nicholas' death. And um, it was really sad. I was not able to initially finish watching the whole beating, the whole footage of the videos. But then to bring you guys the best of the latest of what happened in any cases, I had to hold myself and say, you know what, let me watch this to, to really have a good point of view of what taking place there and why his life was taken from his family, right? When the officers are black, Tyree Nicholas' death raised tough questions about race and policing. Let's see. Okay. And the long sequences of high-profile deaths of black men at the hands of American police, the death of Tyree Nicholas in Memphis shared many of the same hallmarks, a traffic stop that turns violent an outraged community and a critical release of video footage. But the case was unique in another way. All five police officers now charged with his murder are black. How the officers' race will influence protesters in the street and any future jury in the courtroom remains to be seen, but expects activists and attorney told USA Today that the race of the officers involved is far less important than the race of the victim. They say a historically biased culture of policing, uh, policing puts black people at risk regardless of an officer's race. And I agree with that. I agree with that like 100%. For some reason, even though if it's black officers that stop us, they find themselves at in danger, immediate danger, at risk, for no reason. They forgot they are black just because they carry a weapon. I don't understand that part, seriously. Mentally, it seems like it changed them. They are agreeing with white or Hispanic officers that have committed hardcore crime against black people, as if black people deserve what they get. It's ridiculous, it's outrageous to see and heard them talking like that about a black person's being beaten or killed by other ways. That's why they treat us like nothing, you know? Black people and black police officers can carry with them some of the same understandings or views of black people as white police officers might, said Raph Richard Banks, law professor and faculty director of the Stanford Center for Racial Justice. There is nothing that immunized them. I agree 100%. I agree. They don't feel our pains just because they are in law enforcement. Nicholas' death exploded into national headlines even before Friday night when Memphis police released the graphic video footage from January 7th, it shows officers attempting to arrest Nicholas at a red light. And again, after a pursuit to a nearby neighborhood and our officers hit Nicholas with pepper spray, a taser, a button, as well as punches and kicks, Nicholas cries out for his mother as officers strike him they then pop him up as he repeatedly slumps to the ground. Isn't it something? They could not see their brothers, their uncles, their cousins, and this young man's eyes. That is so cruel, man. Nicholas was hospitalized in critical condition, police said, and died three days later. Preliminary findings of an independent autopsy showed Nicholas suffered Extensive bleeding caused by a severe beating. Nicholas' family attorneys Ben Crump and Antonio Womanusi said in a joint statement, all five officers were fired last week and have been charged with second-degree murder and other crimes in connection to Nicholas' death. It's the least they can get. I hope they really get what's coming for them. I hope they give them the max. It's not fair. It's not right for Nicholas' family to 
have to go through what they going through right now that's not fair traffic light are you kidding me you take somebody life over that give me a break the race of the suspect matters most tyree nicholas police officers are black black police officers have been accused of brutalizing and killing black victim victims in the past three of the six baltimore police officers charged in the 2015 arrest and subsequent death of 25 year old of Freddie Gray, we're black. Oh my goodness, and that's something. Gray's death touch of days of rioting and looting and led to investigation by the U.S. Justice Department. All six officers in the case were acquitted or had their charge eventually dropped. Wow, that is crazy. If you go into the neighborhoods of Baltimore right now and ask whether the race of corrupt or untoward police officers matter, they would say absolutely not, said Markham Wolf, a trial lawyer with Murphy, Falcom, and Murphy's, the Baltimore law firm that represented Gray's family in civil lawsuits. And that's something. After killing the young men, they were free. Absolutely, it is the race of the suspect that matters most, he said. It's the historically biased culture of policing that killed Nicholas. One noticeable difference, Ruff said, was the swiftness with which the five officers involved in Nicholas' arrest were fired and charged with serious crime while white officers and previous police involved shooting may have been suspended with pay pending investigation yeah that's the thing they don't understand that's the thing they don't understand when it comes to the white officers they give them a lighter sentence excuse me they suspend them with pay now nah, these five fools did the same thing get charged hardcore and they don't get the same sweetheart deal. So why you kill your brother? Knowing that they're going to give you the harsh, the hardest punishment there is. You know? Memphis Police Chief downplay war of race. Memphis Police Chief Cyrilene C.J. Davis called the officer's actions incomprehensible and unconscionable but downplay the war race play in the incident, given that all five officers were black. And they said one of them was, uh, his background was in the correction um, community. So, <laughs> you know, it takes off the table that issues and problems and law enforcement are about race. She told CNN, it is not. It is about human dignity and integrity, accountability, and the duty to protect our community. And as this video will show you, it doesn't matter who is wearing the uniform, that we are all have the same responsibility. So it takes race off the table. I don't know about that. But it does indicate to me that bias might be a factor also in the manner in which we engage the community. Well, listen, this young man is not here, no longer with us because five black officers took his life. Okay? Rashad Robinson, president of Color of Change, an online racial justice organization called Davis Remark, deeply unfortunate. He said the Nicholas incident point to systemic racial bias inherent in policy networks that need to be rooted, re -re rerouted, be oh, sorry guys, be rooted out regardless of the color of the officers. What this illustrates is that we do have a deep problem that is beyond black and white and it's about blue he said it's about the nature and the infrastructures of the policy in this country that every single day send a message more black officers alone can't fix systematic racism activists say even as police departments have diversify and added more black officers 
they have failed to put in place and enforce structural changes needed to erase racist policy, Robinson said. One of the issues that should be thoroughly investigated is the specialized unit the Memphis police officers belong to the so-called Scorpion team, which may have been acting with little oversight in targeting communities of color, said Hans Menos of the California-based Center for Policy and Equity. That unit has been deactivated, Memphis Mayor Jim Strickland said Friday, we don't need to know the race of the officers to know we have five officers with no supervision in a community and ask to make case. He said, this is what's slowly coming out of here. Ooh, guys, guys, uh, Joanne Schwartz, professor at UCLA School of Law and author of the upcoming book, Shields, How the Police Became Untouchable, said saying the involvement of black officers take race out of the equation, overlook the disparities and who is a victim of police brutality. Study after study has found black people are more likely to be stopped, more likely to be searched, more likely to be assaulted, more likely to be killed. I don't think you can say this is not about race because the officers are black, she said. There is nothing in our country that is divorced from issue of race, neither is this. That is so true. I agree a hundred percent. Again, what I said in my previous video, the police officers think they are not with the black community. They always protected their fellow officers. And by them carry this weapon, they feel like they are invisible. They can do whatever they want. The system will protect them. Look how harshly they punish those five black officers and if those five black officers were white they will be suspended with pay they will be given sweetheart deal behind the scene but again you have to speak your mind you have to ask yourself why yes it was wrong for black five black officers to kill tyree nicholas may him rest in peace but why the punishment is so harshly done to them five but when other white officers commit the same crime, or probably worse, they get the sweetheart deal. You are living in America, okay? America is a great, pay, a great place to live, to, to be. But at the same time, you have to realize there was a lot of racism. And it will never change. It will never change. It will never be business as usual in America. Black people are on the bottom. Black people will always suffer the consequences of the law enforcement. I don't care if it's black or white. Look what happened. Five black officers, not even one of them, was able to say, stop. This is one of our brothers. Stop. Let's help him. They beat him up. They ran to get him to come bring him back. If they had, let's say, okay, let's say after they tase him and they decide to let him go. This young man will be alive today. They could have go to his house, go arrest him later. But to run after him, bring him back and kill him there is no justice i don't care if those five guys going to jail i don't care if they rotten in jail there is no justice for the black human race and it's sad when you see your own kai treating you like crap when you see your own kai have no respect no regard for you and kissing the other kind's ass kissing the ass as if they are more they are better than you they're not better than you. We are human beings. We are equally the same. We are not one third of a human being. We are fully human beings, you know? And for them to treat us like that and you supposed to protect us, actually drag us into them to kill us and you are killing us in front of them, you are, I promise you this, in the next 
three to five, six months, you are here on the killing. It will be a white officer. You know why? Seeing her five stood there killing their own, they have no regard. They already did not care, did not give a you know what about us. And them watching her, five black officers was killing us. You think they will have any kind of sympathy for us? No. They will destroy us like nobody's business. And again, Crypto Marie, she does it all. A little bit of everything. My job is to bring light to you. Bring you the news, even though you are too busy to know, watch TV, see what's going on. Don't worry, I got you. I will bring you the latest. It is sad as a mother of four to see five black men kill one of our own. And not even one was able. Not even one was able to say stop. That's why we need to have black women pairing up with other officers to save the black race. If not, we're not going to have another black man standing. And I have three of them. May God protect them, Lord. Please protect my kids and protect every other woman's child out there. Because it's so hard. It's so hard to carry your baby for nine months. And to see some idiots taking their life like nothing like that. It is so hard. Don't forget to subscribe, y'all. Yeah. May God bless you all. Bye.